What's up, everybody? Just want to do a update on what's going on. I'm gonna start doing these kind of like vlogs, I guess you could call them. Not really about what I'm doing completely in my day, but as far as cryptocurrency. Right now, um, I guess I, you could say I'm waiting. I'm in a little waiting period right now. I have some list that I got at about point. I, I purchased it at a, first I purchased it at about 0.5, then I sold it at about seven. And then I kind of it up and I bought some kind of high. And then I sold it for less than I bought it for. So that was my first, but that wasn't a big loss. It was just something just from impatience. And if I would have waited, as you can see, it's up 0081 right now. So I would have probably just waited. <laughs> But I let the troll box get to me. That's one thing you can't do when you trade on Poloniex. Don't read the troll box. Because <laughs> if you read that troll box, you read you read that troll box, you around lose some money. Because they be like, yeah, a list is a scam. They just sold all their coins. And <laughs> you'll believe it. And the person will sound so for real. And then you'll run and sell your and it'll go up. Yeah, when you're trading on Poloniex, don't don't listen to the troll box. It's hard to do sometimes. In a way, you can you can learn a few things on there, but at the same time, you might learn something that's not true because you don't really know who's uh, a reliable source on Poloniex in the troll box. So, eh, it's entertaining. It's best to read the troll box when you're when you don't have anything on the table. Uh, so yeah, I got some lists that I'm kind I'm holding I'm holding on to my list. At first, I, I was kind of done with this, but I've, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it and that they uh, got um, somebody on their team named Charles something. He was working with Ethereum. So I'm going to hold on to him at least till it gets to 0 0.001 and I might sell him when it gets to that because that's the last time that that's the that's the highest that they ever were. So it's probably not going to just go straight past it. It's probably going to bounce off of it and come down to maybe like nine. And then it's gonna work its way back up. So the next, the next thing it's gonna go to is probably nine. It might bounce off for nine, and then come back down. Uh, another thing I'm working on, well, not working on, but is the hash ocean. And I'm getting a lot of hate from the hash ocean because everybody's saying it's a Ponzi, but it's not a Ponzi. <laughs> it's not. It's mining. It's it's just like Genesis miners. The reason that they can pay out higher than Genesis and other places is because being that they, they mine all coins, they can sell the all coins and give you more in Bitcoin. And if you go and comment on this video about Hash Ocean and say some negative shit, just don't do it. Just save your breath because my opinion isn't gonna change. I'm already making more on Hash Ocean than I was in Genesis mining, than I'm making in Genesis mining. And I've only been with Hash Ocean for a, a week, and I'm already making more. So, as long as they're paying me, I'm cool. I don't give a if it was ISIS. If it was ISIS running that, as long as they're sending me my Bitcoin, I'm cool with it. So, Ponzi, ISIS, or legit cloud mining, I'm gonna keep on Hash Ocean it. <laughs> waves, I'm waiting on Waves to uh, let me get my coins. Well, let me get my Waves. They're supposed to let us get our coins either today or tomorrow. We're supposed to be able to get our uh, coins and put them into a wallet. And once we do that, you know, that'll be cool. That'll be cool to be able to go on there and see your coins and send them. Yeah, I'm ready for those waves to hit hit uh, the exchanges. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on Poloniex. They're gonna be on the exchange on, God damn, look at this track. Yeah, I'm waiting on them to hit the exchange. A little birdie in my ear told me that to not. What? What's the problem? What the Dude, what the People getting mad at me because I'm, I can't help that I'm right here. Oh, a little birdie in my ear told me that not to sell my waves until the price hit 0.02. They told me that because I'm not gonna get too, I'm not big on technical 
So I'm not gonna get too far into this, but you're gonna be able to transfer kind of like Shapeshift does, but except for USD and crypto. That's fucking huge. So yeah, I I don't know if it's gonna go that high. I might not even go buy that loft to not sell till they get to zero two, but that would make me a lot of money on what I got. So, Cause I got like 400 waves, so. I don't know how I ended up with that many. I think during the ICO, I got them kind of early and I, I connected my my Twitter and my Facebook like they asked and they gave you gave, gave some extra, so. I'm looking, and it's on my birthday. They The, the coins hit the exchange on my birthday on uh, June 14th. So it's probably gonna be a really good birthday for me. <laughs> this year but yeah it's just a quick update on what i got going on um hash ocean is paying me good I, uh the link below uh if you want to get in on that uh they give you um if you want to join that that's on you so uh yeah this is trevon james crypt crypto neck neck non-spurt the crypto non-spurt as a non-expert the crypto non-spurt that's my new name